Now wait, there is what they call churching people in the scriptures, but you got to do it scripturally right and spiritually right. There's a process, and it doesn't happen in one day, and it doesn't happen because a preacher thinks it should just happen. The path, uh, the Bible teaches that you have odd against somebody, and they, they sin against you, you go to them, and you make it right. Amen. And if you don't make it right, they come to you and say, you need to get right. And if you won't get right, they go get another witness, a witness or two, and they come and say, you need to get right. You won't get it right, you bring it before the church then. And if you won't get it right, that's when he's got to leave. That's how it's supposed to be done. And look at and if he gets it right at any point, he gets to stay. Amen. That's the way it works. It doesn't work because the preacher says, I don't like the way he believes. He doesn't believe like I do. He's got we got one point difference between each of us. And so I'm kicking him out. That is not Bible. That is not close to Bible. That's that is that's a dictatorship. That's lording over God's people. Say, why are you going to do that? Because I want you to hear a preacher. Yep. God told me to do this. I wasn't going to do it. But I want you to hear a preacher and what he does. And I'm going to tell you what the man says. Man comes up to him in the middle of the service. By the way, if you came up to the servant and said, hey, I want to pray. I said, well, let's pray, guys, with him. He's got a very, obviously he's got a need. He'd come up here and say, I need, I need prayer. That's what this guy says. He comes up, I, I want to pray. This preacher says something about this guy. This guy says, can't you show me a little grace? Amen. And the preacher says, I can't do that. No way. Now listen to it. It's only about 20 seconds maybe long, this whole thing. But I want you to hear it. And the reason I want you to hear it, because this is not how it's supposed to be done. This guy's not right, of course. He caught, he caught, this guy causes me issues often. So I want you to hear it. First of all, Dominique Davis, that's why he wasn't here last Sunday, has been thrown out because he says, oh, God's not three persons, God's only one person. What? Hey, sit down, sit down. What are you, what are you coming up here to do? You want, you want to come take over the service? Uh, huh? Service. What, what do you want? What? I just want a prayer read. Get out of here. Can I get, can I get a little grace? No, no you can't. No, you, you get right out of here. Get him out of here. Understand? Drag this bozo out. Yes. Pull him out. Hey, him help him out. Get him out. They got a bunch of guys getting up and dragging him out. Literally. They got a split screen. They show you that he's, he's they're hey, throwing him into the pew. If anybody wants to come up here and take over the service, we'll throw you out of here, buddy. This church is not a free-for-all. This isn't an open mic. This isn't a karaoke bar. Okay? I'm the man of God here. I meet the qualifications. I run this church. And if you don't like it, then get out. This is not... The guy tore the man down and then lifted himself up. Hmm? The guy said, can you... I want to pray. He says, get this bozo out of here. Well, can't you show me some grace? No way. Right? He said, no way. I'm not going to show you any grace. What I just read in... Uh, in uh, uh, Third John, one ten is exactly what that guy did, and he lifted himself up. I'm the man of God. Why do you have to tell everybody he's the man of God? See, and I'm not trying to particularly pick on this guy, but there are a lot of preachers out there like that, huh? I tell you, I tell you, and you know I to say this. If I tell you I'm the man of God, I'm not the man of God. <laughs> If I tell you I'm the, I'm the head of the church, I'm not the head of the church. If I tell you I'm the pastor, I'm not the pastor. If I tell you I, I'm running things here, I'm not running things here. You understand? Yes, I shouldn't have to tell you that. That means I haven't done my job right. By the way, that's not the only video I have of him doing that. We, had, we got some of his members because he did the same thing to them. They came and stayed here for about three years. And then they found a church down by where they live because they were coming traveling a long way. They found a church down there and that's where they're going now. But they came here for three years, and they were damaged bad by him, what he did. He called them all kinds of names. You've seen the video. Kevin's seen the video. Hmm? Yeah, it's, it's horrible. Why would you do that to somebody? Destroying their faith. 
What you're doing is you're pointing out what you think is their bad points, and we're not going to have that here, so we're kicking you out. And instead of lifting up what's good in them and saying, look, this man got saved. Look at the things he's done for God. Right. Hmm? Instead, kick him out because we don't want to deal with him. What kind of counsel is that? What if you came into my office and I said, I don't have any answers for you. Get out of my office. <laughs> you know what I need to do as a preacher? If I don't know the answers, I said, I better find the answers. Because this book's got the answers. Huh? I better, I'm going to look it up. Hey, that's a good question. I, asked, I actually said that to Kevin several times. That's a good question. You've got too many good questions. I'm sick and tired. No, I didn't. <laughs> They come up with good questions. i got to find some good answers. Hmm? By the way, I've never kicked anybody out like that ever, and I pastored yeah. two different churches at one time. So I'm just saying I never kicked anybody out like that. No way would I have done that. Why? Because I don't want to damage the person. Amen. Huh? Give them opportunity. That's what, by the way, that's what, that's what church discipline is, to give them the opportunity. Amen. Give them mercy. Amen. Show them grace. That's what Christians are supposed to do. I'm so tired of the preachers and the Christians thinking they're God. Amen. 